what are organic and what are inorganic compounds? Do you know the difference between organic and inorganic compounds? Let's find out! Organic versus inorganic compounds The objective is to distinguish organic from inorganic compounds. What do you think makes organic compounds different from inorganic compounds? What are some examples of organic compounds and inorganic compounds? Now, let us understand first the history of organic chemistry. The history of organic chemistry can be traced back to ancient times when medicine men extracted chemicals from plants and animals to treat members of their tribes. They simply kept records of the useful properties and uses of things but did not label their work as organic chemistry. An example is the discovery of the willow bark as painkiller, which is now known to contain acetyl salicylic acid, the ingredient found in aspirin. Their knowledge formed the basis of modern pharmacology, which has a strong dependence on knowledge of organic chemistry. Organic chemistry was first defined as a branch of modern science in the early 1800s by John Jacob Berzelius. He classified chemical compounds into two main groups, organic if they originated in living or once living matter, and inorganic if they came from mineral or non-living matter. Berzelius believed in the idea that organic compounds could only originate from living organisms. This idea is known as vitalism. It was a student of Berzelius, Frederick Wooler, in 1828, who discovered that urea, which is an organic compound, could be made by heating ammonium cyanate, an inorganic compound. He reacted silver cyanate and ammonium chloride, expecting to get ammonium cyanate. What he expected is described by this equation. Instead, he found the product to be urea, a well-known organic material readily isolated from urine. This result led to a series of experiments in which a wide variety of organic compounds were made as products from inorganic compounds as the reactants. This discovery led to the abandonment of vitalism as a scientific theory as chemists learned that they could make many organic compounds in the lab. Organic compounds are compounds that contain carbon atoms in their formula those that were produced by living organisms, including fats, lipids, and proteins, carbohydrates such as the food we eat like bread, rice, and pasta. While inorganic compounds does not have carbon in their formula, are those that were composed of minerals such as rocks and non-living matter. However, there are few exemptions such as carbon dioxide, carbonates like calcium carbonate, carbides like calcium carbide and cyanides, carbon monoxide, pure carbon compounds such as diamond and graphite are also not organic compounds. Organic compounds differ from inorganic compounds in many ways. Organic compounds include plant and plant materials and everything that makes up our body, as well as the DNA or the deoxyribonucleic acid 
the hereditary material in organisms. While inorganic compounds include salt, metals, and other related compounds. There are several properties that we look into when classifying compounds as to organic or inorganic. These include the type of bonding between molecules. Organic compounds usually exist having covalent bond, while inorganic compounds are ionic bond. The forces between molecules of an organic compound is in general weak, while very strong in inorganic compounds. Organic compounds usually exist as gas such as butane and liquids or low melting solids, while inorganic compounds usually exist as high melting solids like metals. Organic compounds are usually flammable like the LPG or the liquefied petroleum gas. A table of comparison is shown to show the difference between organic and inorganic compounds. Now, if you found this video interesting and helpful, please click on the subscribe button found below.